Hey everyone, I'm Walt, and today we are going to roast some daisies. But before that, remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And don't forget to press that notification bell down below. Right here, we have daisies. These are the, like, the regular, like, oxide daisies um, that you usually see. And right now, they're going to flower. This is, like, mid-May. And what we're going for is just these small little heads. So you just, like, easily... The pinch and twist method of take your pointer finger and your thumb, pinch like thumbnail and twist real quick, and that pulls it right off. And this is what we're going to be roasting. You want to uh, harvest uh, some of this because it's just like spinach, it's going to cook down a bit. So, harvest about like two handfuls worth if you're in it uh, just make it for yourself harvest more if you're going to cook for others if you want to start foraging today go down in the description click the link to my website and get the starter pack for foraging that you can get all the books and equipment you need to get out in the woods to get all your food and medicine today what I did off camera is I washed these off and then I dried them. You want them thoroughly dried. And I'm going to be cooking this in the toaster oven, but you can cook it in the regular oven too. So you want to preheat the oven, kind of toaster oven or oven, to 450. We're going to roast these really nice and hot um, temperature for about 10 minutes. And then you want to put it right on the pan, spread them about. And then what we are going to use is some olive oil. We want to put a little bit of olive oil all over it. Drizzle it right all over. Then you want to take your hand and work it. Work all that olive oil all over the whole plant. All the food. Spread that out nice and even. All good there. Then next, some nice tempura sauce. This has a lot of other flavors. Great ingredient. You want to sprinkle that all over it. And then, sriracha. You can use some ball if you want to, if you don't want the garlic flavor. And you can put as much as you want. I like a nice spice nice and spicy and then make sure you don't have any cuts on your hands uh, because this would sting with the salt and sriracha and mix this up you can wear gloves if you want to if you have any cuts on your hands mix it right up nice and thorough and the toaster oven looks like it's ready you can put this right in for 10 minutes now it's been 10 minutes then you want to turn off the oven or in this case, toaster oven, and pull it out. Let's look. Oh, look at that. Oh, it smells fantastic. And then let this cool for a couple minutes because it's uh, you just pulled it out of uh, 450 degrees. So give it about three to five minutes before serving it. Now it's been about three minutes, and let's serve this up. You want to take it right off and serve it right on a plate. And don't forget all about the juices. Because that's the sauce. And to finish off with it, a little bit of lime juice. You can use lemon also if you want to. Let's try the daisies. Oh, it smells so fantastic. Oh, the flavor. Oh, that's amazing. It's like another nice vegetal flavor. I'm almost, I'm getting a little bit of a, uh, like green beans, like a fresh um, roasted green beans. I'm getting that. Now I'm getting like a sweet lettuce flavor. Like a really good, like imagine romaine has a, like a little bit of sweet romaine kind of flavor to it. 
almost a little bit like spinach is slightly there the texture is uh, a little bit crispy because of roasting in the oven and uh, a little bit soft a little chew is slightly to it um, but it's not bad it's actually very very delicious and I recommend going out and getting the daisies and it's oxide daisies that I'm using but you can use multiple different species of daisies and this I is fantastic I recommend it And that's how you roast up daisies. If you want to see more, go down in the description below, click the link to my channel, or press the round subscribe button to help me out to get to 10,000 subscribers. And up next time, remember to get outside, get fresh air, and have fun. See ya.